Okay. So I didn't even need to make the uh what is this? I didn't even need to make the other the little individual leg pieces and test them. This worked this worked just fine. So first thing I'm gonna do is change that to 40 because I don't want to print the whole length of it. I mean I could print the whole length of it. I'll keep it at 65 for now. Um Yeah, but now I'm gonna gonna make uh make this a two player variant version and I'm gonna add the uh walls to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the other side on this and I went and I checked on my arm what would be the most comfortable angle to have the other side at while also can I okay so basically basically right I want this to be at a bit of an angle so that so that the cards are resting a little bit more securely when it's on my arm I'm gonna put it on my arm by the way it's not gonna be some random place so the other so the other side because it's gonna be a two-player version to go with my two-player dual blade is going to to have to be also at that angle so I checked on my arm what a good um what a good uh angle would be and it's actually about 90 degrees so i'm gonna go ahead and put a sketch no not put a sketch edit the sketch that this is based off of select all of this move it create a copy Rotate it, select. Wait, anyways. Select all of this, move it. Whoops, what? Make a circle like here. Okay, now let's see what happens if I create a copy, rotate. I'll select that 90, and then I move it this way. And what in the world is with that? Whatever, okay. Well then, what I'm actually gonna do... Is... Put a sketch here. Project this. Let me see if I can, uh, okay, Let's see if I can copy it and paste it. There we go, 90 degrees, put that there, put that there, I think. Yeah, about 90 is a about 90 degrees apart from each other is pretty much how much it has to be. So now, let's see if I can I hope this doesn't
Did that change the geometry drastically? Okay, no it didn't, okay. You know what I just realized? That might not be a good idea, because I don't know how much this angle is helping. Um, so instead I'm just gonna put a line here and I'm going to make it 45 degrees from this and I'm going to make it tangent to I'm going to make this tangent to this and I'm going to make this because this was copied off of this, oh my goodness. Well, in that case, let's see, how can I do this? Do this and I extend this even farther and I trim this and then I measure this as 5.161 and I measure this as That's, hang on, can I, oh, no, okay, that's changing that. Okay. Oh, wait, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it, okay. Simple, 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 simple. gonna make this 45 and make it tangent here except I have to put the arc there and now I can make it tangent what the hell is it because this is The stupid random okay, mirror select this there. Now that's exactly where I want it. Okay. Okay, there. Uh, what in the world happened to this? Never freaking mind then. I'm gonna go ahead and go back until I'm out of the sketch, go back into the sketch, start over, project this whole body, put a line there, put an arc there, make sure it's on it, make that that, make this 45 degrees, Okay, it's black. That's good. Okay, and that's black, which is very good. Okay. <clears throat> so now, all I have to do is put like a circle on one of these. 
and depending on where the circle is that changes that so that's good um That circle will actually be a good help, but I gotta make sure it's not too, too big. So let's make it maybe 10. 10 at the most, okay. Then offset this minus wall thickness. And so that would be 6.8, okay. All right, so now what I can do is put this down here. And that's part of the same body. So now, yeah, okay. Are there visible sketches? Okay. So that is kind of funny looking. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, I go back into this sketch and what I'm going to do is add in an arc that closely follows this. No, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and offset and then what does that look like by times two? Okay, so never mind. I'm gonna start a new sketch and I'm gonna offset this by wall thickness times two and offset it again by wall thickness <clears throat> so now I'm adding in the Drap shape. And so for that, I want kind of just a little bit of a thing here. So just a uh, 1.6 is not correct. This should be negative in parentheses wall thickness plus two and a half and this should be two and a half but the other way yeah and the reason for that is that is the distance required to give clearance to the strap. I just realized I don't have a strap uh, or a spare strap. I'll have to use the one on the dual blade for testing it, which is fine. I can always get a strap later. Um, now let's see, we'll put A line here and another line here and a third line here 
and this has to be wall th this is wall thickness and where is that Let's call it 30 okay I'll go ahead and extend these lines I'm thinking how I want to do the strap and actually that's not wall thickness that's an arbitrary value like maybe five like maybe ten maybe twenty bring that back some yeah that'll work now if I mirror this Okay, and then I extrude these parts. That's basically where the straps would fit into, and I just realized I don't like that. That's going to be uncomfortable. So actually, no, okay, so actually, it's also going to include this. whole thing and then if I chamfer that can I chamfer that can I fillet it I can fillet it pretty darn far so that's pretty good okay uh, then that will be the plan in the future, but for now I'm going to delete that because now that I know what I want to do uh, If I remember correctly, but just to be sure How big are the straps? Strap holes are 26, okay 26 times 2 is much bigger than 40. Uh, so if I make it 30, that can be held by one strap. So, 35, that brings it down to 10. Uh, 10 total. On either side, that's 5 millimeters. Let me look at what 5 millimeters, millimeters looks like. about there that's pretty good I think 10 on either side would work too so if I bring it down to 26 times 26 plus 10 is 36 uh, but if I do 26 plus so you know what 40 would have worked 40 would have worked yeah okay 40 that's already twice the height that I printed this at that I printed the other one at if I recall, let me see. Yeah, that's at 20, give or take. Um, so now put an offset plane from here 
negative 40 minus 26 Was it 26 or 25? 26, okay. Okay. Negative 40 minus 26. So 40 minus 26, that's the difference there. divided by 2 that's all I will need so now if I make that visible again and I extrude all this here all right and then I go ahead and cut out this part start at an object which is lead a plane and then go down by 26 that should give me yep the strap holes I'm going to go back into this sketch. I'm going to go ahead and extend this. Okay. And then on this one. Now what happened to this one? I'm just going to delete those constraints because this is the last thing I plan to do on this sketch. Okay. So now so what I did there was I made it smooth on the inside for the strap holes. If I do a section analysis, where is that? See it's smooth there. All right. Okay. So does it smooth on the correct side? Yes it is, okay. Good. The reason I wanted it to be smooth there, because if it was a bump there, then then it might have blocked the the strap. But anyways. And if I just orbit this so I get a good look, yep, that's good. Okay, so that is what I will test for the uh, uh, angle. I'm pretty sure that's a good angle to have it at. Because uh, at 90 degrees, each of these will be 45, wh whatever, it's a pretty, I think it's a good angle. Oh, and then you know what? Just to be absolutely... Oh. That's... Okay, hang on.
Okay. That's not good. Okay. Let me check this again. It was this. So all I have to really do is put a line there on both sides. And then what I'll do is I'll suppress this. And then I'll fillet both of these sides because I need to do that first. Ah, uh, that looks good. These edges as well. Okay. Bring this back and cut out all of this including this start object here distance 26 yikes what did i what did i accidentally include Okay. Distance minus 26, but I start at an object, which is this. Okay. So now I have, that should be comfortable to wear. Uh, gonna go ahead and round off these edges as well while I'm at it. One is too much because that completely erased a thing. That'll work. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and save here, but I am gonna try and see what I wanna do for the for the uh, what's your more columns? God, this is a big piece. This is gonna use a lot of filament, anyways. So this was forty, right? So now that I know that's forty. I'm gonna make a sketch here. I'm going to project this. And I'm going to go ahead and offset this by a number. I'm going to make a parameter. I'm going to make it static tolerance. I'm going to make it 0.1. All right, then I'm going to offset this by negative static tolerance. All right. Put a circle here.
And then put line here, here, here. Make these two lines equal. Put them as tangent to these. I don't understand why I need to trace this in order to do what I want, but at least I can do it. Then if I do this, okay. If I make this angle 45 degrees, yeah, there we go. This one is construction line. Okay, if I put another construction line here. And I put a circle here. And I make that tangent. That should have made that one the same size, okay. And then put a line that is not a construction line from here to here. And this one. Oh wow, it actually managed to get it. Okay, that's cool. Right, because if it was vertical, it wouldn't be able to hit both of those. So in order to hit both of those, it has to be horizontal. Um, and then put actually actually no I'm gonna delete that and actually put this line here and then make this tangent to here and then make it horizontal except this circle should be tangent to this circle which I can do apparently now this one can get the same thing and then I can just trim it and that Okay. And then this just has to go up to this. And this one also has to go up to this. And then Trim this one to there and this one as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this go up by 65 minus 40 divided by 2 and you know what I should actually do I'm going to add a parameter make the parameter card width make that 65 and make another parameter and call it clip height no width make that 40 okay 
and then for this I want it to be the clip width sketch 7 gets warnings uh, sketch 7 already has warnings but everything is fine we do a real quick okay All right, so now for this one, instead of 65, I'm gonna do card width. And for this one, I'm gonna do clip width. Bring back this sketch. Just that inner bit. Good, good. And make that the clip width. It doesn't really actually need to be that big. It can be like 10. Alright. Now I just need all of that. back this start here distance of wall thickness okay so now the idea here is that <laughs> that looks goofy Maybe I should, um, <laughs> so the idea here is that I'll have the, I'll have two of these and they ought to be mirrored. Um, Now that I think about it, do I really need all of that? Yeah, I probably do actually. Okay, there we go. That's less go that's slightly less goofy, but it still looks goofy. Um Ah <laughs> oh, man, okay. Here, let me go back into this sketch. I can probably do something a little bit better. I could put this line here. Put it here and here. Shoot. I don't think I can make that tangent to both of those. Oh, well, I guess I can. Does that screw with anything? It does go through that. So I wanted it to be on the other one. Okay. Put an arc here. 
Okay, put this one on here and then on there. And then I don't think I'll need more than this. Actually, no, I, I might, I might. I'm trying to think. Oh, I know what I'll do. Ah, darn. So put that there. Really? Okay, anyways, the idea is this thing on both sides. If I put a plane. Mid plane here. And I mirror this. Right. So the idea there. Is that where's the okay, and then the idea is that this clip mechanism will hold these, will hold in the cards. right on my arm mostly and these two pieces these walls will keep it from falling out um i apparently miss a spot. Seven, eight, okay. So like, cause like how it is now, I put the cards in it and they can fall out through the sides. But if I do this, they can't fall out through the sides. But it looks so silly. It looks so silly. <laughs> How can I make it look less silly? <laughs> it looks so silly. Anyways, let me go back into that sketch here. Because I can't do this, not to my knowledge, but I can do this. If I do first on this one. Then on this one, and then on the other way, and then don't do that. That was round. Why was that round? Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. At least there's that. Not sure how much I will need of that. Oh, you know what? I do actually want to, um, because in the state that it's in, it could kind of rock. So I do want to go ahead and delete that.
Whoops, what? I don't know what happened there, but okay. I deleted body A and then body 7 disappeared as well. That's that's weird. Anyways. Okay, project this and then project this okay and then okay offset what this by the static tolerance and then extrude this to here and if I bring in this okay that's good Is it less goofy? Hang on, I have to mirror the body again. No, it's still pretty goofy looking. So I don't know how to do this without having the full 65 on here, but I don't want the full 65 because I want to save on filament. I want to save on material. I'm pretty sure this would save me material. I mean, either way, I will need to have these uh, these plates here so that when it's so that when this is down. But how much of these plates do I really need? I only, oh, I've got it. I only really need them to go all the way down on this. So. Okay. If I project this, that should be the maximum. I just put an arc. And then I put this line here, I mirror it. Okay. Okay. Now it looks even goofier, but it'll save me a little more material. <clears throat> and then go ahead and round off these edges here because, which one? Yeah, body seven, okay. If you round off the edges, it makes it slightly faster to print. And it increases the chances, or decreases the chances of like severe warping. That needs to be really rounded, a lot more rounded actually. So like make it one, yeah. And then
Okay. <clears throat> so if I bring back, okay, if I get rid of this one and I bring back this, that's what it'll look like. Gosh, that's stupid looking. <laughs> that's so stupid looking. Um... It really looks goofy. But this is but this is kind of what happens, right? Like it's a goofy idea. The idea of playing a card game like anywhere, you know? Like the idea only existed so that the anime didn't have to stop and find a table, right? And like Cause like it, it was about people playing card games with stakes, <laughs> and they didn't want it, want people in the the egg of the characters to like have to go find a table to play the game on, so they just were like, well, what if there was a way of the characters playing the game wherever they happened to be, and this was how how they how they solved it was with the dual disc, and so. Now I'm trying to make a, an actual practical version of it instead of I'm trying to make an actual functional design instead of a neat looking design and what do you know functions look goofy. <laughs> and I should be able to just rotate this because it should have the right kind of symmetry. Right? Hang on, let me check. No, I don't think so, actually. No, yeah, I don't think I can actually rotate that. I think I have to uh, make a mirror of it. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of goofy looking. How does this look? Okay, I don't understand why that's doing what it's doing. This, it looks to me like it should rotate in a different direction than it's rotating, according to that arrow symbol. <laughs> it looks like a banana boat or something. It looks like a banana split. Anyways, uh, this will be a good place to stop for now. I think I can, you know what, actually, I think, I think real quick, if I want to get rid of the goofiness, I think I can project this get rid of it and then create an arc here and then I should be able to just not filling in. Why is that not filling in? Huh, weird. Weird. Because this is separate from that, and this is separate from that. So if I take these two pieces that are separate and connect them through that, that's separate, that's separate, that's separate, that's not separate. I don't know why. Like if that's separated through that and that's separated through that, 
then this shouldn't go through this, right? But it does. Okay, so if I highlight this, it's going through the whole thing. So if I take this, now what? Nope. Odd. Odd. I don't know what that is. Darn it, okay. Well, never mind then. Anyways, I'm only going to test this for now, the, uh, this, and I'm going to rename this to two-player clip and I'm only going to test the shape of it to make sure that it's in a correct spot for my arm um, or in a good spot for my arm to be or in a good spot for where it's going to rest on my arm at a good angle I'm gonna make sure it, I'm gonna make sure it's comfy to wear that's what I'm gonna do um, and usable then what I'm gonna do is if this works I'll go ahead and take this and you know what let me rename this to yeah I'll just call it plate plate insert okay and you know what I really don't like how much material this is going to use, so if I just cut out a bunch of circles, which is making a really complex first layer, but but if I just cut out a bunch of circles like this, then that'll use a lot less material. And it already looks pretty goofy anyways, so like... Oh, that's already on the okay. <laughs> now it's going to look funny. I'm kind of going too far on this because I don't need to do all this yet. Okay. I, if, if. If this works, I will continue with this. That's what I'll do. But for now, I'm just going to print out this. And we'll see how it works. Okay. I've got a small slice of the two-player clips printed. And I'm going to test how well it fits on my arm and if I like this angle. I've got some cards, well, my cards, 
I'm gonna put half of them in one side and then I'm gonna use a rubber band to keep them on because they're gonna fall out because it's such a thin slice. I'm gonna do it on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I like that. And that's about where it would be. Is that good? Kind of. Can I pull on this? Yeah, but it's probably going to pull this apart because the rubber band's keeping it with it. But it's sticking out pretty far on both sides. Hold it here and I put my arm on it. Hang on a second. Let me get my my blade real quick. My dual blade. Okay, so I've got the dual blade, and if I put that about there, which is where it would need to be, you know what? That's not bad. I think I'll go with this. I was thinking when it came off that. I was thinking when the print finished that I wasn't going to like that, but I think this is good. I thought I was going to want it at a different angle where the cards would be closer to my arm, but I think this is good. And another, th another thing I'm going to do real quick, just to be sure that this is what I want. I'm going to pull these cards out might as well keep them together with the rubber band so that they don't fall apart on me okay now stick them together flat wise and It is better. It is better than if they were flat. So I like that. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it like this. And I designed this to hold the deck and the graveyard and the banished zone. But I did not design it to hold the extra deck. I think I'm, I. What I intend to do with the extra deck is let me check. Will that be? Will that be too? No, it won't. It's a little bit higher than that. Yeah. So what I intend to do with the extra deck is take... The extra deck is 15 cards max. I'm just going to take 30 cards worth, make a little slot that puts goes on the bottom like that, or something. I might actually put it on the side like this, depending on what is, on what is shorter, but... Yeah, but yeah, I guess I'll keep this angle then, and I'll continue. I'll continue my design with this angle.